especially on Anubis, where you know he's one of the newer additions into the team he's one of the players where you maybe you know it's a little out of left field the the iberian yeah. scene there's a limited pool to draw from but i think he showed up nicely and he's another one that they're looking to develop that they're looking to uh, really bring along early here if this version of the movie star riders is going to work now it's time to find out if they do on anubis mm, you can look at it a different way if you're going to pick players outside of just the standard spanish scene they do need to be better individually than the spanish options for it to make sense so there is a little bit of pressure on Adam and Just to uh, justify those pickups. And Martinez, speak of the devil. What a shot. Best way to start. Nice kill from Alex. Mm, that's a nightmare for looking for Org because... They don't even get a lot of info out of that either. Well, we start can do what they like. Yes, they're going into the stack site, but I don't think it's going to matter. They've got so many numbers, as long as they're well grouped. And as we know, swinging aggressively still looks good for them. Swing coming in here. Shoko. Going to need to get a headshot here. Flashbang going to make his life difficult. Now they've spotted. Now they know. And down he goes. Get that many bites at the apple. Lucky good shot. Exercise in as well. Here we go. Turning the tide. But a 1v2. And Mopaz swinging around will not give him another opportunity. Bomb down. Movistar Riders taking the pistol. I think in this series, Anubis is the biggest question mark. Movistar, even though, of course, Overpass wasn't good yesterday, I still think, I still think Anubis is, is a big question for this team. And how they operate on it. So this is a nice start for them. Four spy in response from looking for all. We've seen a lot of teams favoring ecoing second on their CD side in favor of rifles earlier. But looking for org, not interested with that. And the auto shotty on Mr. Maka. Beware of dark. He lurks. Did you ever have a nightlight to scare off the monsters in the dark? I'm trying to think. I mean, I definitely did at some point. Um, I also had, you know, those like um, glow-in-the-dark stars that you put on the ceiling? Oh, yeah, yeah. Children's bedroom. Luminescent ones, yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I had those. Those were cool. I used to... Maka, nice skill. They're going to get the one. Not bad by any measure. Good swing for Adams, but the kill comes in from Haji, and Haji's done his work, done his damage. Alex is low as well. This retake is very viable. I don't have to hear about my childhood nighttime habits because this action is giving. It's giving competitive round. Lucky with an AK now picked up. This is very dangerous for the Movistar Riders. They're up and over the smoke. Here comes the clear around. Alex, no one's, looking. no one's looking at this. If they just get out clean, they can't do that. But Alex is so low, the SMG might as well be a rifle. Exercise trying to just get on the bomb. He doesn't have a kit for this. So he's looking to bait. Alex now will make the move, but he might have just won it on time. Yeah. He has indeed. It's going to be an expensive round. It's going to be a costly round, but it's a round win nonetheless. They'll take that. They'll take that. When it went two on two, it looked so scary. So, so scary. Haji did massive work to get two frags when he's getting pinched between Dark and B-Long. Very impressive. There's not a lot of scope to play around that pillar. He made it work. And yeah, I'm not surprised to see this, Mike. They're going to have a second bite at the apple. A buy again. Managed to get two M4s out of this. So it's, not a, it's not a bad investment. And Movistar, of course, having lost everybody... I had to fully invest to buy up again with full rifles. They have nothing in reserve. And this is a great chance for looking for Org. They can break the cash to flip this script. Ooh, look at the boost. That's a cheeky way to take the fight. Haji, love it. Don't see that very often. A boost hmm. at Glyph. The problem is, okay, so the problem with that boost, why well, you probably don't see it that often, and why it works early round but won't work late, 
most likely, is because if players are coming out of dark, they so commonly Molotov that spot. And if you got two players stacked up there, you just, yeah, life is life is bad. Life is hard. You do yeah. not want to get stacked up on with a Molotov at your feet. Yeah, you can't cover off dark either. So that was a freebie setup. So they had someone else in dark, um, which makes it nicer. It's still a bit scary. You get trapped in that corner if players get out. You do have to connect with those those first few shots. Or it could be awkward. And Sure. Yeah, how'd you did? So look at this from Movistar there. Going straight back into B. Flashes out. Lucky gets one. Trade in the end, but he gets more information. Haji comes over. The cavalry is here. The Molly's good too. And it looks like Mac is also getting in for an A. So a lot of information here for the Frenchman. This is what we were seeing from the Looking for Org side earlier when they were playing Anubis in the tournament. Is they really like to get dynamic. Uh, and it seems like a style that's being very well rewarded early on here. But a couple of kills coming through. Adams and Alex, the two A's. A plus, except unless Maka closes the distance with an XM out of bullets for Alex at the wrong moment, the wrong time, and a couple big auto shoddy kills deliver the first round on for looking for org. And reminder, Movistar lost everybody in the previous round, so they are broke. The money is gone. They're double eco across the board. That's a huge round win for the French squad. Enormous. Enormous, and look at this. Without a plant, it is a dire buy. Nade's lacking two for this T-side, so... Look, I need some magic. For one of these guys, I think, to crack open this round. Alex, that's a mid-control. He's all alone, though. And that smoke will isolate him had AM out for now, so... Start in the uh, early stages of their default on Movistar. I'll wait out all the CT util. So since this seems like it might be a little bit of a slower light round, I'll tell you my weird childhood nighttime habit. Please. Uh, there was a house I, I lived in for like elementary school. So like five to 10, you know, age five to 10, something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, my bedroom, it was a split level. My bedroom was on the lower floor. We got action here and towards mid. We'll get back to it in a moment. Maka trying to make the XM sing. There's a player past him and he's deleted. So advantage right for the moment for Movistar Riders, and that could be huge. You've got exercise. <laughs> oh, I was going to say isolated. Haji tried to close that, but he catches a deep shot as a result. And now, uh-oh, the Riders might be right back to their winning ways. It's all an exercise. He'll find what they stack up for him. That's a very fortunate swing for exercise. Got to be careful, though. Adam's close. He's not going to spare him. Joko, can you recover? This was the opportunity. Martinez doesn't even have armor. But they're not giving him the easy fight. They're taking heaven instead. And Joko coming from a main. He's going to have to make this all happen himself. He's got a kit. But he's got no smoke. So going for I, the stick I is not going to be an appetizing I prospect. I love how playing this. They can so easily double up, can't they? One player peaks, the other waits. I don't know how Joko kills both of them with this time remaining. Try. Not even going to get the first. Oh, no. That's a catastrophe for looking for Org. Finally looked like they might gain some momentum. They had broken the economy. A movie star. That's the chance to tie up the scoreline. To rock on some rounds. And you just get erased in the mid-fight. Just a disaster. A disaster for that CT side. Movistar. They didn't have the nades to do anything special. They just walked in, basically. And got nice duels. Isolated off B. Uh, a player came through the mid smoke as well for that ZD side a little bit later on and absolutely annihilated. And look at this from looking for Org. They decided to eco this round. They're only on one night and loss, remember, so a couple of these guys still won't have perfect economy, especially Lucky. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I think they might. I'm actually trying to think about the pace of play they might have uh one higher on loss bonus because of that pistol loss starting on 1900 right it's so hard to work out isn't it i think i think they have because yeah no i think they have one higher in, in loss bonus so i think it'll be 24. but either way this round's over um so back to childhood stories so anyway so the the bathroom is down the hall from my bedroom my bedroom is at the end of the hall and for some reason as a kid and i'm talking like you know five six seven I had this narrative cooked up that there was a monster in the toilet 
in that after I did my evening business, you know, the last time before bed, uh, I had to, as soon as I hit the flusher, run and jump in my bed as quickly as possible. And that if I got in my bed first, I would be safe. And what happens if you don't? What happens if you haven't? I never found out. Enough? Never I found out. Hmm. Well. That sounds like an invention by your parents just to get you to bed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was an invention by me. I was a... Imaginative kid. Have you changed? Not really. Hmm. Believe in fewer monsters. I believe in the real ones. Donk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's hiding in my toilet. That would be a revelation. <laughs> would be just one dig. Try and go to the bathroom. <laughs> one dig. Yeah. God, quite, quite, quite the colonoscopy. <laughs> Donk was down. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Right, let's focus up. Counter strikes back on the screens, lads. Freebie start again from the Frenchman. They haven't been punished for this yet. And you can see this, Mike. Of course, last time mid was a problem. Lost them a lot of ground, and they called four men over to contest this. Everything's in the uh, mid basket. Alex is left alone. He's picked. But they've got so many numbers here that A's left exposed. Can Mobby Star get out in time? No, it seems like the smoke did enough. It was their smoke as well. Yeah, do you think they missed it? No, I think they wanted to take aim in. I don't think they actually wanted to execute mm. it towards the site. I think that was intentional. They're they're applying pressure now. They're shifting back towards the B look. They've kept the B main presence up. They're going in towards cave. It's not a bad play. And look at the, the focus that they've pulled away from the site. You've just got Joko here. This is a very tough site to defend. It's a brutal site to defend solo. He's even going to be smoked off for the B main angle. Right now, you can see they're getting aggressive because they have to do something. They've given up all this space. But if... Oh, that's a big kill. Was that... Did his teammate spot the player? Or was that just on timing? Joko getting lucky, getting away with one here. Might just set up for the retake. This kill canals is, is critical. And exercise wins it. So now it's, it's just so tough from all star They don't have the numbers to defend. And so despite the bomb plant that will be looking for org, taking probably the most comfortable full gun round we've seen in this series. I actually didn't mind the setup there at the end that much because they were so primed on mid the whole time. Mm. And it kind of works out perfectly. The, the, the key part is that Jocko on B has to stay alive. He has to stay alive. If he dies and they gain all that ground, especially if they push in towards the deep lanes towards CT, yes, it could become a problem, but Jocko did that and a heck of a lot more with that nice lineup through the smoke. So looking for Org are going to take that one. Much needed round, but there's still money for Movistar. So here we go again. Let's see how looking for Org open. It's again a freebie start to keep favoring this. And uh, of course, Mike, now we're a few days in. Teams can actually prep other, you know, CS2 officials that have already been played. This is a stop. I'm going to get it reset. Bummer. I've seen it a few times right now. Uh, it seems like there's some sort of an issue with selling back in these servers, if I had to guess. I haven't confirmed this with admins or anything. I've just kind of noticed it, right? Because it used to be that, you know, you would have some some misbuys or some, some sort of issue come through and you'd have to reset the round. Shouldn't have to do that anymore. Should be able to sell things. Clearly something's not working peachy keen. Either way, we got everything going. The matchmatics have been wicked quick at this event. Uh, and we appreciate that. So shout outs to the admin team. It's not easy mm. completely refiguring out how to make things work in a new game. Uh, and they've done a, a phenomenal job so far. Yeah, I was on a call earlier with... Um, I mean, I can just say who it was. It was, it was UKIC. Um, we do the UK tournaments as well as someone who, uh, as a side hustle, runs servers. was also in that call. And it was very interesting to hear all the different tiny problems that you never thought would exist. <laughs> And the, just the amount of absolute on fireness behind the scenes trying to run these tournaments. So big credit to uh, the Unsung Heroes production as well as admins, tournament operations. This is uh, equal, an equally exciting and testing time, I guess, for them on the back end.
And, yeah. Uh, we get it easy, Mike. We just, you know, the game arrives on our screens <laughs> and we just talk. And my favorite thing about, you know, talking to the admin team after you get a particularly weird bug at an, an event or something is that, like, even after a decade in Go, you would still occasionally get some sort of attack problem that pops up from the interaction of, you know, this, that, and the other thing that just hadn't been seen before. And that that's after a decade of running events on a game. This is a fresh game. And this is a fresh sight for Movistar Riders. Full control in towards A. The pick on the other side of the map just doesn't matter. It forces the save immediately mm. for looking for Org. Massive round one from the Riders. There was yeah. just no mid presence whatsoever for uh, looking for Org. Well, they are fundamentally going to run out of numbers. If you're doing B aggression with three players, somewhere has to be exposed. And that was mid, so... Uh, we like the proactivity from looking for org. This is just how Anubis plays. If Movistar is set up for that for that A split, and they kind of were, the moment the player on B goes down, the information flies to his teammates saying, guys, there's at least two, maybe three here. We need to crunch A right now because we've got a big gap. And you saw Mopoz there. Nobody was even looking his way as he went into A. So uh, that information was ever so important. And uh, they didn't actually need to hunt this. I wonder if they're just trying to exit. That is... A lot of damage. It is indeed. It is indeed going to give a chance back through. I mean, no one's really been able to build a bank yet. We had w one round, I think, where a meaningful number of players survived for the winning team. Uh, and that's for either winning team. So it it's going to be contested all the way through. That does mean that for looking forward, there's another chance to crack this back in. All they need is to string two rounds together for the French side. And, and we've got a, a very close half on our hands. But... We're already coming towards the midpoint of the half, so if Movistar can just scrape a few more, what are they going to need? A reminder, this is... I think they're reading the free B, by the way. That's why they made this cool. Ooh. They are pressuring A again, aren't they? Off coming in, exercise under pressure, setting up smoke to try and keep himself alive, but they're on top of him. No hesitation. And this, this might just be a save already. I mean, it has to I be. I like the nade pop. I think it has to be. Good try from Maka, isn't it? We're going to yep. see a lot more of that as CS2 develops. And I'm almost surprised Lucky's sticking around for a duel there for a second. But yeah, give this one up. Haji can drop a rifle in the following. You're going to have a, a perfectly good buy. There's no point risking it all in a man down retake. And there you have it. I'm, I'm for certain, Mike, I'm absolutely certain they had a read of freebie. Of course, they saw the B aggression last round. But a lot of rounds are getting mid pretty easily. And I guess Alex made a good call there because you saw Adams aggress, especially onto, onto exercise. Exercise had no chance. Even yeah. if he gets one, he is enveloped so quickly by those assaulting players. So surely the adjustment has to come through from looking for Org at this point, right? I mean, you have to shift off of that 3B early setup. You're getting exploited. So what's the change up? What's the change up, Alan? Where do they get weird with it? Where do they get aggressive elsewhere? We've seen a lot of teams double AWP. Uh, with one over towards A to give you a bit of an early warning system. I think... Um, it's probably time to stop playing 3B. I mean, it's not... All, it's, yes, A, you want to adjust and maybe sure pay a little bit. But it's also how many times you're going to get away with that B aggression before you get hard punished. Um, so from both perspectives, give it a slightly different look and... We can see the call. It's double in mid. Maka yeah. is over to support Lucky. And I think even with this nadage landing over them, they are committed to fighting this. But Lucky's isolated. Oh my god, this is really awkward. Lucky's isolated in front. This nade is going to be ruinous. Oh. And that is a disaster. They knew about it. They knew they had a gap in those two Molotovs. I don't know whether they had spotted Lucky or they just read the setup. But either way. He took a tick, you know. It might be that. That might be it. That's brilliant, though, from the Movistar Riders. Great read and react. And you could tell what Looking For Org were trying to set up for. They had two players pushed into the cave as well, right? So if the two mid players win any sort of the fight there, they can then peek down into the windows into the canal. The cave players can swing at the same time. You've got just so much of an advantageous fight. Instead, well, you lose a player early on. You have to abandon that setup. We've already got a stack back on towards the B site. They've given up mid, and everything is on an auto shotty in the hands of exercise here at A main. Yeah, one flashbang, and this is round over, isn't it? Oh, and Molly, it's done too. Nothing yet. Just gonna contact. It's poison. Contact is the wrong read. Here it comes. There's the flash. He turns away. Manages to get one, but one and done is about as much as you can hope from an auto shotty into that angle. Save again, lads. 
Ooh, okay. Maybe that's but a look, chance. Look at uh, late presence from Joss, though. If they're not watching this. They're watching it. Okay, never mind. We got around. That looked like a day school from Just. Round on. Wasn't good. Alex. Alex gone. They're losing all of these fights. Looking forward to some snappy into him. There's been damage done. Oh, Molpas is burning and he knows it. He's got one, but the trade is there. This never should have been around. Looking for Org. May have just been looking to save. But instead, now... They're on. They get their third. They're wow. going to get a chance here on Anubis. Uh, I mean, give Haji and Jocko credit. Those were some nice frags. But I can't help watching that and feeling Movistar dropping the ball a tad. Maybe they thought looking for Org would commit to the save too. And they were, you know, uh, overconfident in staying off the site and taking more fights. That shouldn't have come to fruition. It should be 7-2 right now for Movistar. And it's actually a pause from looking for Org. And, um, I mean, if they've got a really calm head on their shoulders, they'll actually understand they should have lost that round. They'll understand that there were weaknesses, that mid-engagement wasn't good. Uh, and that can't happen again. So I think a quick talk. And I think we're going to see a different look from them again on the CT side. I think it's fine to play two in mid, but I, I think where they really got undone last round was, did you see how Maka and uh, and Lucky really, they really wanted to stay there and fight? Even when the nades were landing all around them, they were just hell-bent on actually taking a duel. And I think it's, maybe desperation is a strong word, but feeling like they have to force the issue. And they don't. Well, they've got everything they could want now. Nadage, weaponry. Just want to give up the kill early. Maka setting up on the door. This is cheeky. Just want to set up the nade. Self flashes in. Goes for the peak. Oh, he's got the second as well. Oh, the third. Maka, no scope. Taking command of the round. That's the star upper stepping up. And Adam getting more than he accounted for out of the A main fight. This one's done. Just. Looking for damage, perhaps. Bomb plant is a distant dream, and he will find nothing. Maka seizing that round by the horns. That was incredible. Dynamic and aggressive, and uh, for those that have joined us for the other two days of this qualifier, we have harped on again and again and again about this CT orping. You've got to be dynamic. You have to take the fight into your own hands. It's not like Go. It's not like... Shiro and Jane perfected with sitting on, a, on an angle and just being hell-bent on not moving and just hitting that crucial first shot. It is so difficult. You make your life a lot easier if you're the one pressing the issue. And well, Maka pressed a hell of an issue right up <laughs> and into Movistar there. That was ruinous. This is a massive recovery for looking for Org. It should have been 7-2 with money broken for Movistar Riders. And now we're looking at a pretty even half. Good flash rank. It's being taken. They're in towards half of it. This is threatening for the guys on site, but so far they've withstood. There's some coming late A main, but they're smoked off for now. Exercise with a big kill. Haji in. The cavalry is here. And any harm in the round is over. You have that initial sort of burst in towards the site, but the Glocks just couldn't get into the fights. And now... I mean, a tight scroll line would be incredible, wouldn't it? I mean, thank God the cavalry got there in time because... Yeah. <laughs> it was exercise. It was pillar. He was so pinned. I think he could have been a dead man, but yeah. Uh, all's well that ends well. This is looking for all's pick. We know it's a little bit of a T-sided map. Maybe even stronger so in CS2. But uh, they'd love to at least even this up. Maka on the open mid again. Can't blame him. Can't blame him seeking out more jewels there. Are we going to get any early fights in towards Dark? For now, just util exchanged. No real fights taken.
That was an interesting smoke audio. Is that like an echo in dark that caused it? I don't know. Oh, this is bold. Oh, this is bold. On the smoke fade. They're touching him. They're touching him. And that's going to be a kill taken through. One lost in mid as well. Uh-oh. Trouble on for the French squad. Alex is just going to hold on to mid. Just going to try and make life difficult. And actually, he's reading this rotate in. He heard them. And as a result, he's going to slide players into the B site. Mm -hmm. They've got it for free. Yeah, he just comms that info. He says, this player's rotating. B has to be open. Trap is sprung. I think this bomb still goes down for Martinez. Yes, it does. So he falls. The bomb is down after plant secured. And this is a difficult retake, which, of course, will be attempted being the end of the half. I think it has to be Joko. If just wins this duel, it's over. Why don't Joko clears it? Just not aware that someone could be flanking this late. And so now we've got a round on. Time is of the essence, but Lucky's clearing him out. Clearing out spots, clearing out space. It's just left to Alex here in the cave. This is brutal. The flashbang lands right in front of his face, and there's plenty of time for the defuse. What a recovery there for looking for Org as we go to the half. Second half underway here, and it's all even. Movistar with a massive lead early. Could hang on to it. See if they can hang on to this pistol. No, it doesn't seem likely. Martinez under pressure. Reinforcements are here, but looking for Org aren't committed just yet. I think they know Martinez is on this pillar. But do they want to risk triggering it? They're giving a pause, letting Maka work, and... Mm. Oh my goodness, Maka's in such a good spot. Yeah, there's so many ways he can activate. He could let the... A main players work first and then come in behind as Alex 
attention is devoted to this avenue instead. And it looks like Movistar, I don't blame them for this, Mike. They haven't seen anything for a while. They need to do something. Here comes the aggression. Lucky is down. Martinez traded. Alex has to stay alive. And he doesn't for long. Three on one now. And it looks set to be a French win in the pistol. I love that pause. Maka has been taking engagement into heaven here. Mo pause down low. What do you got to show for us? It's got to be all headshots here. No hesitation. And Maka will take it instead. But I love that pause. He gets so far forward in mid without contact. He doesn't really expect to get there that easily. And then he just says, wait. Let's see if I can kill somebody on a rotate. Let's see if something's going to come our way. They all just freeze. The double push comes back in. They win that fight and it's over. Good play. Very nice. Very, very nice. And it's an eco from Movistar. So they are unlike looking for Rorg. I'm not going to buy up second. They're thinking about rifles in around a numero 15. And I suspect this B crunch we're going to see soon from looking for Org. It's going to be a bit of a dry run because there's nobody in defense. Five loaded up in mid for that CD side. But there is one spanner in the works. And that's that the bomb needs to get over before all these men get out and cause chaos. Should be good. Should be good. Might be good. Might be bad. Maybe good. Maybe bad. Thank God the other Very players good. came back off B because that actually could have got scary. Without numbers. Never in doubt. Never worried. I'm sure no one in the audience was suddenly panicked. Martinez glass cannon this round. They're going to buy in, but it's not going to mm. be great. No kits. I hope Martinez a lot of limitations. A Let's have a look. He's going to start on A. I think his plan, Alan, if I had to guess, is shoot them first before they can shoot back. That's a good one. Well, they're going to get tested. First one goes the way of Martinez. Hadji peaks and just is here to bail out his teammate. That is an ideal start. People wanted to hit this A-bomb site early. Mac is trying to get something done, but this round has absolutely crumbled. Two alive. I mean, even getting a plant here would be a colossal result now. I think Maka panicked. He tried to just jump through that heaven smoke, but he was full thunder stomping it all the way up mid, right? So the, the Akon player was able to pull back away and be ready for him. I can understand looking for or trying to exploit some of the chaos that's available to you in Counter-Strike 2 right now, flying through smokes, you know, flying into fights, things like that. But the problem is if there's no fight coming out of A main, there's just nothing to distract and don't get away with it. I have noticed both anecdotally in my own play and also in some of these games that we've watched in this qualifier, because audio is a little harder to suss out right now, directional audio feels just a little off as compared to go. I think players are more willing to risk full running into things, and I think you get away with more, purely because there's that moment of confusion. Nice peek from Lucky. Takes out the AWP at least. There's a path towards a bomb plant here. The 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 window's gonna swing shut pretty quickly, but for now they've got it. Alex is the key piece. Oh, he's revealed himself. That bomb, it's gonna go down at the very least, which is a huge coup from Joko, considering it was a 2v5. It's quite amazing. There's the one gap on the map. Fred the needle. Even so, Mobistar shouldn't be too dismayed. Still four players alive. Shores up that economy. All important on the CT side. But uh, yeah, Bomb Plant certainly going to ensure a buy here for looking for Org. Again, right back into it. A nice competitive a game of Anubis. A plenty of Anubis so far during this qualifier. Probably the certainly the most Anubis I've watched in a string of days. Um, plenty of these teams are willing to, to either pick into it or... Uh, you know, no perma bands of Anubis in this qualifier, really. You've been treated. A 
Oh, spam early. No damage done just yet through the first 30 seconds. The uh, less bloody rounds we've had so far. Look at how light they've gone on B. It's just Alex back sight. He's even going to shift in towards Glyph because they want to go for a triple clear in mid. This is spicy. Haji's on the angle. But he's alone. No one close at hand. He's going to get one. Can he get any more? No. So that clear back in gives a ton of information over, but it might propel the French squad quickly in towards B. Problem is the bomb's not positioned to do it. So even if they take the site, we're again going to have a situation where Exercise has to be incredibly nervous about mid. You can see he's rotating all the way through spawn. Because he just doesn't know. And the retake's already on. The bomb's not even here. And Movistar are trying to retake. Well, boss, this is a huge duel. He's got it. That's going to make life so difficult to actually get a plant off. Shoko has to clear this out. He knows it. Well, plus, just by staying alive here, might win them the round. That's a huge miss, though, from Just. Back's turn. Had the opportunity. And now Martinez is running. That's... Oh, that's a catastrophe. Martinez with an AWP here. This is such a brutal attempt to retake. They can set up a crossfire. You just... They can put you in an unwinnable position, and he's going to back away. One big missed opportunity from Just, and it all comes apart for the Spaniards. Credit to Exercise. He bailed his team out, and they're getting absolutely pinched. As he said, bomb not on those players could have caused massive bombs. Almost did. The smoke's faded. But they recover it back. They may have lost a lot of numbers, but they are T-side. It's a little bit easier to uh, withstand. I... Little detail there as well. I love that Market didn't pick up the op. We've been talking about it. Obviously, it's an Antico, which may influence his, his opinion on it. But we've been talking about the merits of T-side oping versus having that dynamic rifling right now. And for looking for org, at least, it seems like the priority is on the AKs for that mobility. Mm. I think it's also... Um... It tended to be for a long time in Go that some people would still favor T-Side Orping because you always knew if you got into an afterplant, it was pretty strong. Mm. But uh, given the way CS2 is playing at the moment, it's hard to sit on an angle. It's quite hard to play an afterplant on a on an AWP. It's it's much better to have rifles out and be playing, you know, bait setups, have someone else take contact. That really is the way to go at the moment. So, uh, yeah. yeah, everyone's learning this as they go along. I can guarantee you both of these teams, Mike, are learning a lot in these games. We're making Absolutely. micro little adjustments every single game, and maybe that is even one of them for Macra. He's starting to realize that rifles are a little bit easier. Well, especially with the role he's been playing for them, he's been the the, the mid push in so many rounds. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Lucky getting nervous. He's got teammates close at hand, though. This B main crunch, if they go through, it's going to be punished. Unless you just kill everybody. IG putting in the work, but there's going to be a chance for Adams. Yes, they're going to gain the bomb site. Yes, they're going to get the bomb down, but Adams has an 8 key now. There's enough utility. There's no kit. Oh, I, this could just be a save of the AK. The round should still be on for looking for org, but if Adams wants to attempt it, there's no... I mean, there's not too much risk to it, right? Yeah, they can still buy in the next. Let's have a look. Nice. Nah, yeah, he's just grabbing nades. Um, I'd quite like to see him sort of play for exits, just try and guess their exit route. Play a, a nifty spot. Try and catch a few players. Might still do that. He's coming into Temple. I think one of his teammates might have said, you might as well hunt this, we've got money. But, uh, yeah. That got very scary. <laughs> for a couple of seconds. And it's a lot of damage onto that. Looking for org economy. They're not going to have much loss bonus. Nor much cash and reserve once they invest into this round. So... Yes, the scoreline is starting to look a little bit a little bit dire for the Movistar Riders. If you're a Spanish fan, I think just win one round, deny bomb plants, yeah. suddenly they're back in this game. It feels like that's been so much of this game, right? Even in the rounds that are being won, they're not clean. So you've never really had that momentum build up, that, that bank build up, even with the round stacked on. Just going to take one. Just going to take one to crack through here. Let's see if they can do it. Ops going aggressive in towards A main, looking for the peek into canals, perhaps might have it as well. Players are here. 
little bit of flash action to make that difficult. But Justin Martinez, they've got the right idea. Martinez is on the line. It's going to be pressure onto the cave. Now it's just a little bit of an indicator that there's a player outside from the spam. Nade's effective. They're flashing on through, but he's just spamming the line. That works beautifully, actually. Smokes them in. Mopaz even goes for a swing. The B main player is not ready to strike. This is a little bit stymied out from looking for Org. It looks disjointed. And they're going to back away. They did not find what they were looking for. They're looking to catch that cave player. Instead, they're going for a little bit of a reset. So, not loads of info, however, for Movistar. They didn't get a push off during all that carnage. Just a 2 1 2, and look at Adams. Yes, he is getting some info. He's peaking mid at the moment. We've seen a lot of mid flanks in this half so far, and it also means these two A players can be totally committed to A main, this tunnel side. They do not need to deviate. Exercise lucky. Those are killer entries. That's what you needed. You needed someone to get the kill on through. Lucky's was actually on the flank out towards the canals. Now they're going to hold on to A-Main. This is going to be a spicy take. Flashbang. Effective. Martinez. Killer. Deadly in. Martinez taking more. It's all on Lucky. And he can find nothing. Martinez. Clean sweep on the retake. You said it before the game. Martinez, in the absence of people like Spirit, uh, like Art Frost and Donk, would be one of the best players in this qualifier. He looked brilliant there. He's done a lot of work to get Movistar through some of their tougher composition over the last couple of days, and you cannot understate the importance of that retake of that round. This was starting to look troublesome, but they've done it. They've won a round. They put looking for Org into a difficult position. As they now discuss this investment, Jocko, Maka, and Exercise can buy. Lucky and Haji at best something like Tech 9 armor. That's what we're looking at here. As they think through the options. I think they should buy. Free guns is good enough. We know the pistols are potent, so I don't even think it's a massive problem to have players on those Tech 9s. Keep the pressure up if you're looking for Org. And here it is. Rifles out. They're not looking to let off the gas. was a flash ring. Yeah. I thought it was HE. Mini map deceiving me. Thought we were about to see some real red bars. Oh, Joko commits into the Molotov to get the kill. He does, and the trade, I would say, favors them. Because now look at this A-Main presence. You, you, it's, it's one man. It's just. And you've lost your B-Push as well. Moplos down. Big trouble on for the Movistar Riders. Still between Haji and Alex. Good to turn the round. Smoke on. Alex knows he's there. Tries to get lucky on the spam, and that's a sign of desperation right there. Alex knows the situation, knows they need to get one back, and just is going to try and claim it. Oh, Sparrow spotted Exorcise. Had two angles to cover. Wasn't ready for it. So they know there was one mid. They know there was one on the A push. Now, what are they doing? There? Towards the site. Woo, Martinez! Just gets deleted on the peak. That's so unfortunate right now after all the good work he's done. Alex will get one back. To cover this off. Bomb planted. A clutch opportunity for Lucky. But this has been a hell of an effort from the Movie Star Riders to bring us back into the realm of possibility. And Lucky, he knows where Alex is, but he has no read on the next. Oh, that smoke That's is brilliant. That's insane. Just is going to come through it now. And Lucky's got no idea there's a player out towards B-Long. So spicy. So spicy. Does Lucky guess no! it? He does. He reads it. The gambit. It's revealed. But Alex has time enough for this defuse. Whoa. Well, oh, they're going to we'll draw this within <laughs> one. Hey, he needed Alex to do a little bit more, I think, to hold the attention there. Wow. 
Maybe they even thought it was clear. The problem is, the smoke comes in, right? And Lucky's like, okay, they're coming out of cave. They don't come out of cave. Mmm, Alex doesn't push. Mmm, starts so it's, it's ticking through his brain. Why did they throw that smoke? If they're not going to do anything off of it. Suspicious. Certainly is. But Movistar are making a go of this. The money is is pretty bad for looking for Rourke. They've got to just fall back onto these pistols. Couple bits of armor. As Adam again peeks. They've done a lot of this on B. Peeking dark. Peeking uh, B long early. And they got good spawns. Seems to be the MO at the moment. As uh, looking for Rourke. Reset their sights. Here we go. Adam? Twofer. Molly down. Lucky stymied as well. I just get a gun. Anything to fight in for this one. But at this point, the cavalry is here. Martinez is posted on the angle. It's all in a maca. Will be a goner. We're tied up, Alan. We're tied up. 10 to 10. It wasn't looking like this was going to be the case, but as we said, Movie Star Riders did such a good job of keeping their rounds close even when they were losing that it looks like we're going the distance. Equally, the money's not out of control, though. Despite losing quite a few on the trot, Movie Star have not built up a massive bank. So looking for definitely don't need to panic too much, but of course, this is not MR15. This is MR12, baby. We're near the end already. There is not a lot of scope for mistakes anymore. To get into this round. Lots of players be long for looking for Org. Four in attendance. Jocko is in towards canals down the bottom of dark. Surely they're going to commit soon. And a lot of... Oh no, Martinez is coming off. They're solo B for the moment. He's gone for looking for work, but they gained the sight. Bomb down. This is insane that they managed to take this much space with very little in terms of nadage and no damage back the other way. Apart from a bit of a tag on Lucky. Okay, this is going to get very spicy on the retake. Tons of util flying out from Ovi Star, but none of it catching players just yet. The double molly might have actually gone too deep. I don't know whether one was supposed to be more shallow on the Haji. He just spotted up players. He knows they're here. He's not got the kill, but he's got damage. And time is such an issue here, but the kills are all going the way. And with this b made smoke, there's just not much they can do. Oh, on the line. He doesn't know. He thought he killed the diffuser, but no. They're going to get away with it. What a massacre of a round, but Movistar Riders have slid right into the lead. That was beautiful. A good retake in the end, but I will say Movistar had so much damaging util. And I don't think they did more than 20, 20 points of damage, you know. <laughs> With all those mollies, all those nades. Uh, it might be a CS2 thing, but they do need to have a little bit of work. In terms of getting more out of that. But even so, the actual grouping, the, the buddy system as they retook was very nice indeed. The smoke onto B-Long did great work too. Plant though, for looking for Org. They have a little bit of cash. Exercise can drop a rifle. They're almost certainly going to buy. But just a bit of a pause, a bit of a talk to figure out what this investment looks like. Martinez has shown a lot of different openings. Mostly That's B, indeed. but you know, plenty of mid. They had, they had those A rounds earlier. Yeah. All over. Yeah, he's, he's been everywhere with that AWP. We've seen a lot of plays out of Hay Heaven. They, they've done a couple of the aggressive looks in towards A main. Mm. I don't think it's yielded fruit. They've mostly just, you know, gotten a player into the corner and then left him there. But, I mean, even now you're seeing him shift back over.
mid taken. Adams, a little careless there, but not punished. I think he was probably spotted on the mini map at least. Even if the flames obscured the actual pixels. Look at this. They've gone so passive on B again. And looking for Org, are going to give it another look. A little knock on the door. If they get a smoke over towards CT, I mean, they've got the site for free once more. But they will, once again, not have the utility for the post plant. So, on they go. Util pretty much entirely committed. One more Molotov. There's that Molotov. And they've lost exercise before the bomb gets planted this time. That's a problem. Choco will come back into the angle to reinforce. This bomb will certainly go down. Choco gets the first. The second, not his. But Maka's there to trade it. So now they have Cave to play off of. This is the difference now. And Martinez is very late on the rotation. Very late. Well, we started. Do they have the money to go for this? It's a three on three. So it's just too tough a prize. But Martinez is not in position. He's now coming in. And Bopaz is making the moves. Flashbang is good. Trades are better. On to Martinez, who's picked up a rifle, but he's out of time. He's out of chances. He has to go for this. He has to fight. And in fighting, he will win. Does he have time? Oh, that little stumble around the corner could have cost him. Yeah. Oh, he's my got God. It. Just barely. I thought bumping the corner might have done it. But no, not a second to spare. Not a moment. That's heroics. If you've ever seen it, Martinez gets it over the line and the Frenchman cannot buy an afterplant win for the life of them at the moment. Full side control, a couple times now with man advantages and it just isn't going in their favor in the end. That one, of course, doesn't get any closer. And here we go. Two map points for the Movistar Riders. A map they lost yesterday to Team Spirit. Looking for what's pick in this series. One where we know where they have been strong in the past. Already strong in this qualifier. To be a massive boon in terms of their chance to get a rematch against Team Spirit later on today. We still got to get it done. Full focus. Duel in mid, Adams. Awkward on that peak. Gets punished for it. Almost looked like he was going to get away with it, but uh, no, instead, now a 5v4, a clean one for looking for Org. This is not something they've had to work with in a long, long time. When we start riders have done a great job of denying them these early engagements, these early fights. Mopaz has gained B main. So look at this rotation now. Alex is going to get all the way back around in towards A. And you've got Just getting aggressive in mid. This could get weird. Martinez, big shot hit. Utility's going to go down. Now he can shut this down. 30 seconds. They have to rotate off. But the problem is they may not realize how much ground they've given up. This rotation will be heard. Just hearing them thunder stomping around in mid. But that means it's all on Mopaz to actually slow them down. Just deleted as he drops in. And Mopaz knows he has to stay alive. So the bomb play will be conceded. It's going to be another B retake as the last two rounds have ended. So it goes again. Mopaz nearly collecting one through the smoke early. And a push in towards CT is punished. Now E-Box is cleared out. It's all unlucky to keep them alive on their map pick. Looking for Org. Can he do it? Can he bail them out of a hopeless situation? No! Mopaz, the hero of the round. And the bomb diffused, and with it, Movistar Riders move up 1-0 in this series. We'll be headed to Vertigo next. This is a phenomenal end to what looked to be a very tough map. And I'm frozen. Mm. So I'm going to do a little refresh yeah, here. Yeah, you do a refresh. Yeah, um, I was thoroughly impressed by the Movistar Riders, I think, on this map. I think... Uh...